All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at a new Teller Knight card. It's not very often that the winner of Worlds gets a new card. I mean, well, no, I think I think Infernity's got a new card, but where are they, right? But Tellers, I mean, they kind of they were in and out. You know, they won World. Rota got hit down to one. They have no direct hits. You think that you know they would still be doing stuff, but they kind of faded out. And then they're faded back in because Card Demise is a fucking unfair piece of shit bullshit card and they can utilize it too. But overall, we haven't seen too much of Teller Knights, you know, which is really interesting. It's still a very powerful deck. But no, uh, Teller Knights actually got a new card for them revealed. And uh, very surprising to us. So this is Teller Knight Balamis? Balamis? I think that's it. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I don't, I don't speak whatever language that it's supposed to be. Uh, the card art is very interesting. It's kind of creepy. It looks, doesn't even look like a Teller Knight. No, I say, I say, that's the, of course, its body, I mean, that looks like Construct, and then it looks like maybe a little bit of Scout and weird kind of centipede-looking thing, the centaur. I, I don't know. It's really, really freaky card art, but, I mean, that's what you want to do, Konami. That's what you want to do. But despite looking like Construct, this is actually a Teller Knight monster. So, uh, Dark, no, Dark, like, what? Dark Teller Knight, like, even, you know, like, Teller Knights, they don't, they don't go with the Dark, they got Diamond who fucks up Dark, so to have a Dark Teller Knight, that's interesting. Warrior XC Effect Monster, rank 4, 2600 attack, that's pretty strong, it's over the attack barrier, uh, no complaints there, and, but only 550 defense, so... Uh, because it's a teller and it's a 26 beater, it can actually handle things that tellers would have a difficult time handling. Because uh, I definitely know one of the things with tellers is you would go, I'll tell your effect, summon back from the graveyard. You could go into like a castell or something and spin something away, but then, of course, only teller knight monsters can attack. So uh, if you really need to deal with something uh, that you need to beat over, but uh, you couldn't go into three level, uh, have three level four monsters, only two. You know, you're kind of stuck. So now you at least have this. It's a 26 meter. You can attack over something with it. So it's already looking fairly decent. We haven't even got to effect. It's made with two level 4 Teller Knight monsters. All right. I like that theme specific. So, uh, I mean, you're kind of like, you're looking a little bit like uh, Ptolemyos here. And, of course, we know Ptolemyos is banned, and rightfully so. And maybe it was because it went to Infinity so easily. Maybe it's because it was generic. So, if you want to give them maybe like a theme-specific Ptolemyos, that might be kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, if Ptolemyos was theme-specific, I could... I, I don't think he would have got banned. I don't think Ptolemyos would have got banned if it was theme-specific. If only Teller Knights could have used them, and only Teller Knights could have went into Infinity, uh, I mean, maybe we possibly could have had an Infinity limit, you know? But outside of that, you know, no, I don't, I don't think Telemonster would have got a hit, but because it was just like, hey, everybody, if you can make three level four monsters, you can go into Shock Master, you can go into Infinity. And then, of course, Telemonster proceeded to got banned, so rightfully so. It's fine. So maybe they could go ahead and fix the mistakes. I mean, they're clearly looking to fix that here. They're like, two level four Teller Knight monsters. Only Tellers can do this. If you're not playing Tellers, you ain't doing this. Like, okay, I see you. I see you. Uh, let's go ahead and read the effect. All face up monsters on the field become dark. Oh, all of them. All right. So it's something to feel everybody's dark and then just like, hey, bust out diamond and fuck everybody up. So you bust this out, you have a separate diamond, and you fuck everybody up. Everybody in the field is dark, so that means that diamond's going to get everybody. So that's, that's, that's a fine effect. But it's just like where you have diamond where it's like, hey, I only really work against dark decks. And this guy is like, I'll make everybody dark. And then you can negate all the effects. So how's that sound? So that's, 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 that's a fine effect. Next effect. You can attach one of material from this card. Then discard one card. Okay, so you neg on the XC and then you detach and then you discard. So hopefully this effect is totally worth it. Special summoning from your extra deck one light Teller Knight XC monster. By using this face up card you control as XC materials, you cannot XC summon for the rest of the turn. This is treated as an XC summon, XC materials, touch this card, summon, blah 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 blah. We get that. That's powerful. That is very powerful. I mean, it kind of sucks that you cannot XC summon for the rest of the turn, but did you just make it? So you only need two Teledyne monsters to make truth? Because that, that's what I'm getting. So instead of being like, oh, well, I need to go Vega, Altair, Altair, summon Deneb, you know, then go into Trail, you could just be like, Altair, Deneb, X scene to this, detach, discard a card, any random card, slap on Trail, that counts 67, Trail effect, spin everything back. Like, wow, that's, that's pretty powerful. I mean, when it came to whether Teller Knight should have got a direct hit, 
uh, especially from winning worlds, there's a lot of debate on, you know, what cards should be hit. But, uh, you know, I was definitely in the boat that um, uh, Triv shouldn't be at three. So, not only is Triv at three, but then you just made it much easier to summon. Like, I don't know, is Telenet going to make a comeback? I'm not saying anything, but... With this card, that that's that's I mean that's some trip shenanigans right there. So just Altair, summon Deneb, Deneb gets you your search of a Telenite monster, Xena this, detach, discard the freaking Telenite monster that you grab if you really don't need it. Like fuck it, I I search Deneb so I can go ahead and get the plus Unico high. Fucking just detach, pitch that, I don't need it, bam, there's trip. Spin everything back. Especially when there were some times in the, when the deck Needed to spin back with Trey, but then didn't, you know? They had their Phoenix Chains, their Call of Hunters, their Wastes, they just kind of stuck, but they didn't have the resources at the current moment to go into the trip. They pressed the reset button. I mean, it's just like, damn, you know, I have this Altair, and this Altair can summon Deneb, but that's it, you know? Now it's just fuck it, you know? I don't need the Vega. I don't need the Vega. Fuck Vega. I don't need three. Just discard any random card, any card you want, to bust out that trip and use that reset button. Like that, mm, mm, like I said. I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised as everybody else that, you know, a deck that wins worlds doesn't get hit too hard. Usually, you get kicked in the mouth and, you know, punched in the dick and thrown down a flight of stairs when you win worlds. But Tellers, they were like, huh, damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I'm going to win worlds and then fucking all I'm going to get is Rota. Fucking deck that got second place, they got hit harder than us. But, uh... No, no. I, I mean, that, that's very powerful. Very powerful. And I can see if that's what Konami wants to do. They're just pretty much like saying, you get a trade, you get a trade, you get a trade, you get a trade. So like, I mean, you're returning to the hand, so that's kind of eh, but it's non-targeting. And you are returning, you know, them uh, them Phoenix Chains and Carl Hunted and Oasis. So, shit. <laughs> like, we haven't seen this much Carl Hunted and Oasis abuse since Cosmos, but uh, here we go. Some more abuse, right? <laughs> you know, are they going to hit Carl Hunted Oasis? I doubt it. I doubt it, but... Maybe. <laughs> you, you, you could ask the same thing. Yeah, you think they're going to hit Upstart Goblin? Nah, no, they're not going to hit Upstart Goblin. They'll just ban e Life Equalizer. <laughs> so. Uh, it actually has one more effect. So I guess I can go over it, but I don't think this effect's ever going to be used. Uh, once per chain, during uh, this card, this effect can be activated during either player's turn if you have seven or more Telenite monsters with different names in your graveyard. So pretty much the whole summon that can be activate during your opponent's turn if you have seven or more Telenite monsters with different names in your graveyard. Seven or more different Telenite monsters in your graveyard with different names in your in your graveyard? I don't even think you run in your deck. Like, let's go. Deneb. Altair. Vega. Unuk. Alright. Let, let's go ahead and count, you know, let's go, let's go ahead and count Dixies. They count too. Maybe you'll summon a Deltaros. Trev. I'm not sure how many copies of this you run, so maybe you'll have this, so maybe that's seven? You know? Uh, maybe you'll go into Diamond? Like, I, like, shit. <laughs> like, there, there is not a lot. And if you're running, if you're, and main deck wise, if you're running anything outside those four, like, uh, Sham is kind of okay, and, uh, what was the, there was another one that kind of boosted up his attack to get over, uh, Shadal Winda. I think he was played for a little while. And outside of those, I mean, no, no, not really, not really. It's just, it's just, Deneb, Altair, Vega, Nuke. That's it. So, especially this card of Demise, like, you don't need any more monsters besides that. You know, fuck it. I'll go Deneb, search for Altair, set called Hunts' Wastes, card of Demise, go ahead and go hella plus set more back row. Because I can, fuck it, I'll pitch the fucking Altair I just searched. That's it, I probably won't even search for him just so I can make card Demise get, draw me even more cards. You know, fuck it. I won't search for him. Well, I guess you should, so you can pitch him to the graveyard. That way your call of Hunts' and Wastes can then revive him. But shit, you might just draw into him with Carter Demise. I don't know. I don't know. But Carter Demise Tellers, that's definitely a thing. But just being able to poop out Triv, I seriously doubt you'll have seven more sides. Seriously doubt you'll never do that uh, during your opponent's turn. Very powerful. And you, if you do it, then awesome. But no, you probably won't. But just being able to bust out Triv so easily with this card. Yeah. All right. All right. So, like I said, when it, when it came to Tellers and what to hit them directly, I was like, Rota's probably going to get hit down to one. Deneb probably should have got hit down to one, lower the consistency of that. Uh, Max Petrician got hit down to one, so I'm glad about that. Uh, Nuke was debatable. The Nuke was debatable, because if we hit Deneb down to one, you just got done more nukes. We didn't know about card demise back then, so, uh, yeah. And then Triv. You should really only have one Triv. You should only be able to pull off a shit like that once. But multiple Trivs, multiple of this, go to town, I guess. So, <laughs> all right, Konami. So it's interesting. You give Teller Knights new cards, Cleese new cards. Like 
Any any love for any other Duelist Alliance cards? Like, are we gonna see some Shadal shit? Are we gonna see some Necro shit? Like, oh, oh so you saw some Yang Zing shit? So, three out of the five already got some new shit. So, the other two are just kind of like sitting there. But of course, those other two are the ones that got hit on the list the hardest, and, you know, we haven't really spoke about them. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, tell me what you guys think about this new Toe Knight Exceed Monster in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, card review. I will, of course, be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.